if we go, me if we move to the connection type here we have a three connection so first is import mode second is direct and third is live connection okay so till now we have just seen the import mode okay so direct query mode is also there in direct query mode the data set is not getting inside this okay means not in the power bi memory in import mode the data what we are importing in it it is storing in memory in direct query it is not storing and in live connection also it is not storing the difference between live connection and direct query in direct query we can use the databases like mysql oracle okay and microsoft sql server and in live connection we are using this sss tabular things okay in both the things the data is not present in the power bi physically here only in the import mode it is uh, present physically so it's taking a space here in live connection in direct query it is not taking space the difference between the live connection and direct query is in direct query we are connecting the databases as well and in live connection we are having the ss as tabular so we have some difference between all these things that we will see in the next slide <coughs> so these are the connection type we have import is a default data connection mode in the power bi where data is imported into a data model stored in a complex in memory database so we already have seen that we can in the um, power bi we have a vertipack engine which is compressing the data so it is happening there in the import mode this mode provides the excellent performance for a smaller data sets okay allows for extensive data transformation calculated columns majors within the power bi data model capabilities capabilities so this is the fastest mode in performance wise if you see compare these three import mode will be the having the highest performance then direct query and then li live connection okay so if in the interview also they ask which one you will prefer then you can see say you can say the you can go for the import mode because it is having the highest performance sometimes <coughs> many people go for composite mode so what is happening in the composite mode here we are having a combination of import plus direct query so why we are using the import and direct query because by using the import mode we are getting a good performance and for the direct query we can get a and so memory ca capacity uh, problem will solve by using the direct query so in the composite mode we are using both of this import plus direct query so we get a performance as well and the um, uh, memory consumption is also nullified by using the direct query okay so yeah so it has a full power bi potential and is the fastest method but size limitation is a drawback okay size limitation we know that it is just a 1 gb when to use the import mode import mode is ideal when you need to perform the extensive data transformations create a calculated columns and major and build a complex relationship within the power bi so whenever you are concentrating more upon the data modeling then dax and all these things then you should go for import mode because in the direct query most of the dax calculation is not working it doesn't work okay so in import import mode we don't have any limitation about the dax so if you have a many ca ca complex calculations or dax present in your model then you should go for the import mode it provides the flexibility to enrich and shape the data to meet a specific reporting requirement so if you have a specific requirement you ha you have to go for the import mode because direct query also have some limitations which cannot fulfill the requirement okay and import mode is suitable for a small to medium sized data set where the entire data set can fit comfortably in the memory so here only draw drawback here is the memory is consumption uh, memory consumption is there in the import mode that is only the drawback okay but it is having a very good performance very fast performance and all the dax calculations are allowed here okay no restriction on dax so it ensures fast query response time and provide a responsive user experience so most of the time people prefer import mode only when they have a complex calculation and specific reporting requirement okay now if you go for the direct query direct query mode enables the power bi report to query data directly from the source system in a real time so whenever you want to work on a real time basis so you can use a direct query or live connection okay bypassing the need for the data import and storage 
so here <coughs> there is not a storage of a data in a power bi in memory storage is not present in a direct query this mode is useful when working with a large data set or when immediate access to the real time data is required so in the interview also they might ask you what is the <coughs> advantage of using the direct query so whenever you are having the large data set you can go for a direct query because <coughs> you will get a immediate access of a real time data in the direct query so what is the use of it direct query is used for scenarios where the data size exceeds the memory capacity of a power bi service or need to load a data locally impractical due to a data volume so in the interview also many times they ask the scenario based question related to that if you have a larger data set then what you will do so that time you can give the answer that we can go for a direct query because it will work very good for a larger data sets okay so direct query allows you to connect to a live data sources such as a transactional databases or streaming data enabling real time insights so or which database we can uh, uh, use direct query over there mysql also my uh, microsoft sql server even oracle also okay it ensures that the reports always reflect the latest data from the source system okay so latest data whatever it is it will reflect in your report now what are the limitations of a direct query so they will ask the limitation as well so you have to use all these points direct connection of a data source typically sql server mysql oracle data will not be stored in a power bi model or a memory direct query is only possible for few data sources because it is limited to all these things right so if you want to do uh, use the azure and all these things we can't use in a direct query we have to use all these things only so it, we have a limited data source here limited functionality only report and model view will show in the desktop okay now here uh, here we can see the we can see, we can't see the data here whenever we will see in a power bi desktop we uh, in a data view we can see the tables all these things right but here in the direct query we are not able to see the tables because <coughs> our data is connected to the live connection so and the data set is very large so we can't see in the power bi it is connected only by through servers okay mysql server oracle or microsoft server okay next limitation is few dax not functional but quick major is available now here i already told a few of the dax functions are not available we can uh, maybe few time intelligent function also doesn't work in the direct query so this is the limitation of a direct query but quick major is available so uh, i don't know whether we have taken the quick major or not but in the power bi desktop we have a quick major where we have to just mention that what we want suppose i want a sales for the product wise sales then it will give you the dax for that so that is the quick major so it is present in a import mode as well and in the direct query but in the live connection we don't we can't use the quick majors so that is a limitation for the live connection but for the direct query few dax functions are not available okay this is the limitation now next is we can create a manual relationship that join the table together no relationship are created in the underlying sql server database so here manually also we can do create a relationship suppose we have imported a table from the sql server and the, there is no relationship between the tables so here in the data model uh, in a model view we can go and create a relationship that is that is possible in a direct query but in the live connection that is not possible so there are many limitations for the direct query and live connection so these are these so for the live connection also we will see what is that live connection mode establishes a connection between power bi and the external analysis service model such as <coughs> this is ssas means sql servers analysis services or olap cube so it will work on this only ssas and olap cubes so this is a limitation for this live connection okay when to use live connection live connection is beneficial when organization have already invested in building and maintaining the enterprise level data model using analysis services so in many organization if you can see that they have already established uh 
you can say that models data models like this ssas so this is the software they must be using for analysis service so they are building the reports by using this ssas okay so if i if you want to use this ssas then you have to go for the live connection only okay so any organization if they are following this sql server analysis services then then they can go for the live connection okay they can get a real time data analysis by using the live connection okay it allows power bi reports to reuse this existing model and benefit from their organization so ssas is just like any this a power जैसे पावर बी आई होता है वैसे ही एस 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 है सो लेकिन जैसे पावर बी आई में बहुत सारे एडवांटेजेस है बहुत सारे थिंग्स हम कर सकते हैं फंक्शंस है दैट इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन एस 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 दैट इज ओनली द रिपोर्टिंग टूल फ्यू ऑफ दिन विजुअलाइजेशन वी कैन क्रिएट इन एस 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 बट इन पावर बी आई वी आर हैविंग हंड्रेड प्लस विजुअलाइजेशन टाइप्स कस्टम प्लस डिफॉल्ट विजुअलाइजेशन सो इफ द एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज फॉलोइंग दिस model system ssas they can use this for the live connection so they are already having the data models in their um, organization and by using the live connection they can use in the power bi suppose they are using suppose uh, ssas and they are having the data model where they have a 10 tables they can create a report by using the power bi as well they can create a report by using ssas as well but the data model what they have created by using ssa uh, data model or report what they have created by using the data model they can we can use the same data model for the power bi as well okay for example suppose we have a data model okay here we have a five tables okay so this data model we can use for ssas for building a report okay and same data model can be used for uh, building a power bi as well okay and another advantage in power bi also by directly accessing this ssas also we can build the report so that time we can use this live connection okay clear or do you have any question regarding this any question no okay so they might not ask the difference between all these things okay but you should know the things that's why i'm just explaining it okay so live connection enables multiple users to collaborate on reports without duplicating the data model it ensures the consistent data definition calculation across reports simplifying the maintenance and governance why they are using this because suppose if organization is following the same data model everywhere so by for the ssas also for power bi also so it is simplifying the maintenance is simple no so they don't have to create a different different reports for every application so it should be um, you can say that it should be universal for the whole organization right that's why that time they use the live connection but live connection is only used where the organization is using the ssas okay or olap cubes okay this is the restriction okay this is the disadvantage of live connection so limitation you can say so limitation of live connection are it is similar to the direct query but only possible to few data sources like olap cubes ssas handling large data sets so for this ssas and olap cubes we can use the live connection and it is only used for the visualization we can't create a data modeling here in the live connection but in the direct query we can do i already told that if the two tables are not having the connection in the sql server but after importing in the power bi we can create a relationship between the tables but in live connection it is not possible live connection is only used for visualization okay so live connection does not support a quick measure that is also the limitation especially when use a tabular cube as a connection so as you are not aware of ssas so you will not understand but in ssas cubes are created olap cubes are created okay and that is used so in the live connection 
we can't create a quick measures that is a limitation and there is no option to create any of the relationship against the live connection tabular cube i already told that we can't create a relationship this kind of this kind of uh, sense because power bi developer would be person responsible for creating relationship within a olap cube okay so if that limitation is been asked you can say just like it is all always be used in ssas and it is always used for the visualization we can't create a data modeling there and the quick measures are not used there okay this is all uh, these are the limitations of like action and uh, drawback or limitation of direct query we can use direct query in this servers only okay then few dax measures are not available but here we can create a relationship okay this is the thing now you can see that these are the uh, difference we can see import is the fastest was fastest one for the in, in terms of performance full dax means all dax we can use here full power query okay mixed data sources we can use the mi mixed data sources here data limit and ref, uh, this is not available in direct query can be very slow scalable okay most dax but few dax are not available in the live connection typically fast this is fast scalable this is not uh, available composite combines import and a direct query mode flexible and can be fast so in the composite mode it is a combination of import and a direct query so composite mode means it will be good in the performance as well and what is the storage limitation we have in the import mode it will get solved by using the direct query so most of the people most of the organization now nowadays they are using this composite model 